Alright, here we have Glay Lancer being played in the Switch, courtesy of Red Alaka Games. So we've got options, we've got controls, but self explanatory, we've got gameplay, so we have modern, classic gameplay with added features, press a button to change your mover system at any time, use the right stick to aim your gunners freely, separate speed, up down buttons, your high scores will be saved, and if, and if you can unlock, Mania Mode will save that. Fancy your subtitles. Vintage. The game works just as the original Japanese release. Well, it will even disable rewind. Cheater. You can use this option to enable some additional cheats if you can figure out how. Try playing through the game at least once before you use this. If I do cheater, that should... Yeah, that opens up the uh, invincible in the debug menu. Same as the debug menu is muteki mode, but always on. Pause the game to get access to debug menu. Oh, cool. We'll go enable that and check it out. I'll disable invincible mode, though. Right, video. We got display 4x3. Uh, perfect. And full screen. We'll do full screen. Actually, we'll do that one. Wallpapers. We had Starfield, Space, and None. Brightness saturation defaults. Shaders again with the CRT filter. If you want that, that's there for you. Uh, Cutscene language, rewind speed, reset all options, erase save data. And we'll do a start game in cheater mode. This game was originally released on the Mega Drive Genesis. Happy to see it on the Switch. So we're going to start one off. Why not? Shot manual speed. Okay, that's all good. Actually, wait, it was on. Wow. Oh. I thought it was hard for a second. <laughs> Alright, so this is a uh, a horizontal shmup. See so if we got normal, reverse, search, multi, multi R, shadow, or roll. These are all gunner options. I'm not going to go through each one, but I'm going to go to normal. Stage one, select, or start rather. Okay, so here. Cool. Alright. So you can turn auto shot on if you want it. You can do your missiles on or off. You can set the gunner. Okay. So now I've got two gunners and auto fire on. That's kind of cool. I'll go ahead and turn that off though. I'll go ahead and turn off the gutters, but I will leave auto fire on. This is I prefer auto fire. I love the way the game looks though. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm a f Huge fan of shmups, though I'm not very good at them. I still enjoy them. Oh, I just got killed. <laughs> Alright, so let's rewind that. <laughs> I love the rewind feature, it's great. Now, we'll say, ooh, I will say the rewind feature is a little bit slower than, say, on. Um, on uh, Guidog, which is another game that I, that I reviewed. Um, it's definitely a bit slower than, than that. Not sure why, but it is. Oh, that's cool. So you can... Oh, really? So you can manually um, control the... Uh, the gunners... With the uh, right analog stick, you can control them independently of your ship, which is nice. Or you can have an auto. Uh, auto rotate based on your ship's direction, which is nice as well. So you can actually turn that. It actually goes from a, uh, a single stick shmup to a twin stick shmup, which is kind of cool. I like that. That makes the game easier to play. Especially with the, with the auto fire on. Oh, let's rewind that. I can't kill by the bullet. 
Oh, come on, really? There we go. Okay. What in the world? Why isn't it... So sometimes I've noticed that the ship... Like, you'll tell the ship to move and it won't actually move. I'm not entirely sure why, but... Maybe it's just that it moves really slow. Yeah, it does. It moves really slow up and down. It moves faster left and right. Now, I will say the backgrounds do kind of get in the way when it comes to identifying the, where the bullets are coming from. That might, so that might also be part of... Um, part of my issue. But the music's great. The graphics are, are really good, too, for a Genesis game. Stage 1 clear. Stage 2 now. I, I do really love the, the uh, backgrounds, though. Despite the fact that some of them are really hard to see the bullets, this isn't, so this isn't too difficult. But, uh... Oh, really? A rock? I do love the fact that um, this stage does uh, underwater. I like how the color changes depending on if you're underwater or not. I think this is by far my favorite gun so far. of our really, really great shooter. Alright, let's spend a look at uh, Glay Lancer on the uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, review code courtesy of Red Lucky Games. Thank them very much for the great opportunity. And well, thank you for watching. And if you like Shmups, it's definitely worth checking out. It's not too expensive. It's a great take on a classic game. And um, thank you for watching. As always, till next time, take care and happy gaming.